hey guys welcome back to the channel so about a year ago i uploaded a video about the nokia lumia 730 and today we are diving into its identical twin the nokia lumia 735 so let's explore the lumia 735 and see if it still holds up in 2024 The Lumia 735 is a stunning device, uh, nearly a decade old now. Its main highlight is its display supporting a 720p OLED screen. So as you can see here, the display still looks very beautiful. Even in today's standard, you will not feel like you are using something bad. So the display still looks very beautiful as you can see here. And the touch is very smooth as you can expect from the Nokia's Lumia devices. With this beautiful display, it also got 1 gig of RAM and 8 gig of storage. And also you can expand it with micro SD card. So no need to worry about 8 GB of storage. It's a quite versatile device. And it features a 6.7 megapixel rear facing camera and 5 megapixel front facing camera. And I will come to those things later on. What sets the Lumia 735 apart from Lumia 730? So this device got 4G and also wireless charging support however it only supports single sim unlike the dual sim capability of the lumia 730 other than that they are practically twin in terms of physical appearance this device originally runs on windows 8.1 it also got official update to windows 10 so my device is currently running on windows 10 and it is running on the latest version supported by this device 16.0.7 although i can update this device to the latest possible version which released by microsoft but i have to do some like tweaking i have to unlock the bootloader and like also i have to change the model number to get those things actually despite its age the device runs surprisingly well and i have only installed retro arc from stock apps while the app store is still functional it is not really like before so you can't do much with this app store there is nothing much going on but uh, one positive thing of this device actually right now is that you can unlock the bootloader or you can unlock the interrupt then you can install or side load application and like opera mini or uc browser whatever you want you can side load even games and application there are tons of games and application still available online you can side load them actually so i haven't like side loaded anything here rather than that retro arc uh, so i haven't installed anything because i already have few devices which running on windows 10 and they all have like unlocked bootloader and i have installed basically all the application i like on them so that's why i haven't installed anything here now on to the camera so the lumia 735 is still take decent pictures actually and also you can shoot 1080p videos with both front and rear facing camera uh, unfortunately the lumia camera application doesn't work anymore instead you have to use uh, microsoft camera so if i try to open lumia camera application it is still there but it doesn't work anymore so as you can see a battle camera available you have to open camera and it will open the microsoft camera but the camera application is pretty much similar but i really like lumia camera application few things not working well on microsoft camera like if you take videos with this camera application you will see jitter in videos so that is one issue actually but uh, this one also come with few other things like this camera application does support hdr mode and i really like one thing of lumia camera application or microsoft camera application is that the way manual camera mode is work as you can see here and i haven't seen anything like that in like in iphone or android devices the way manual camera mode works is amazing in these devices or the lumia devices android devices do come with manual mode but it's nothing like this actually so i did take few pictures here this picture is actually not comparable with today's device the 6.7 megapixel camera does work pretty well and the, and the foreign cam facing camera also works pretty well but uh, the pictures are not comparable with today's device but they are decent actually as you can see here they are decent i haven't faced any issue with taking pictures the camera works well as you can see here they uh, if you take picture in hdr mode it will take a little bit time like one or two seconds to process the picture 
but the output is pretty amazing as you can see here this picture are in hdr mode and they are pretty amazing so the camera works pretty well this device came with a 2200mAh battery but I don't really have the original battery so I'm using the device right now like this as you can see here and the original back cover is broken so I'm using a Lumia 730 back case but I did transfer the wireless charging coil and it is still working perfectly fine and as you can see here this device came with a nano sim slot instead of micro sim slot which you will get with lumia 730 and also we do have a micro sd card slot here as you can see and this device does support nfc wi-fi and bluetooth so everything does work perfectly fine so what can you do with this device in 2024 uh, not much honestly basically functionalities like calls messaging and lightweight browsing still work gaming is possible uh, you have to unlock the bootloader or unlock the interrupt then you can site load like old apps and games here and one more thing you can do actually you can listen to the music the 3.5mm headphone jack is available you will get a decent music quality from this device actually rather than that nothing much basically this device can be used as a down phone or a secondary device and not more than that so that's all about lumia 735 and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching and i will catch you in the next